Hello, this is George Senda, the guy from Pittsburgh, and I forgot to start the music. Hold on. Okay, that's J-Man 007 music, non-copyrighted. All right, uh, I'm having a fun night. Not! I'm trying my best to get this place cleaned up. So I take the 40-pound box of cat litter, and I wanted to transfer it into the two tidy cat bins. Well, it was too heavy. So I go and move the box over, and this bucket that I use to put toilet paper rolls and uh, paper trash when I'm cleaning in here was on the floor. So I move the box over to where the bathtub is, and I decide to sit on the bathtub. Well, what happened, of course... <laughs> I sat on the bathtub, and I immediately went flying into the bathtub. And fell into the bathtub, hit my head in the back of the, the wall of the bathtub. And then I caught my left big toe in this, and was wondering why I couldn't get up. And I'm going, ow, 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 ow. Back of my head hurt for a few minutes. This is why you don't try to clean when you're tired. But this, I, know, I wish I had the iPad, you can see it better, is my, and I use the word in quotes, new bookcase. And this will be the last bookcase I can fit in here. And it's got paranormals in it. So, and of course, that's the Mac Mini. I've got the display where I can now see the words on the screen. And once this gets repaired, then I get a bigger Mac Mini. Then that will eventually go over here. And I've got to make one small repair to this corner. I've got to drill at Kathy's, and I'll make this repair so it can take the weight. It is still ungodly hot in here. It is 78 degrees in here with the fan off. But if I have the fan on, you can't hear me. So I'm going to do some videos in here anyway. And uh, slowly but surely, I'm getting sections cleaned up like the lamp, the table, the apple table, moves the paranormal books down there, dusting books off, throwing stuff. I just threw two bins of stuff out, a bunch of bread that was terrible, down the chute, and uh, had some books fall that I got to, you know, I'm, I donated five books to the library yesterday. I'm going to either donate or sell books. I've got a whole, I've got about 200 Star Trek books and Star Wars books that I could get rid of. And I'm going to get rid of them. To, they'll free up two bold bookshelves. And, uh, oh yeah, here's another thing. You won't probably be able to see it, but there's the Mac with the cracked screen. But I watched a video where, uh, you can take that off without suction cups. Just use packing tape and uh, pull on the screen because it's just held on by magnets somewhat hard. You pull the broken screen out, clean the interior screen with a 
with a static free cloth, put the new glass in. I can get glass for 35 bucks on eBay. And then uh, the glass is fixed. So get original manufacture Apple glass, not some off-brand because they bend. All right, this is George Sender, the guy from Pittsburgh. Slowly and surely trying to clean this place up. Those bins there are all empty. They'll be full of cat litter eventually if I don't kill myself. <laughs> and uh, I have thrown out a lot of boxes. I'm keeping those two for laundry. And eventually the boxes that are back there, we're keeping those just for taking the laundry out of the laundry laundromat and then they'll get torn up and then I'll find a home for all the clean laundry in here and uh, bottom shelf will go for non paramount books and then uh, maybe get a few books hopefully in the next that alien con in the next few months and um, Patty is on the rampage again I have to keep the van so we can Go to your storage and throw everything away. And both Kathy and I are livid over that. She went, that's my mother throwing my stuff away again. I don't know where Patty thinks she has a right to tell Kathy to get rid of her stuff. The place is packed to the gunwales, but she had to move after 10 years and had nowhere to put it. Because she lives in a small, very small one bedroom. I keep telling her to take some of the stuff out so you can move in here and do some cleaning. But she hasn't listened to me in 40 years. Why should she start now? 41 years, actually. I love her dearly, but... Okay, this is the... This is... I <laughs> can't even talk. This is George Sender, the guy from Pittsburgh. Have a great night. Stay wet, warm, dry, or cool, as the case may be. And I will see what I can do with closing music. Oh, here we go. Let's play the mystery man. If I can get the mystery man to play. First current all books I ever read. Bye-bye.